If you drink, you're gonna get a hangover, but what can you drink to get the least hungover? Anthony here for DNews, and last week Lacey and Trace talked about a survey that showed a correlation between the kind of alcohol people drink and what political party they're associated with. And some of you were like, well, I don't care what my drink says about me. What alcohol causes the worst hangovers? And how do I not drink that one? Well, if you're looking to ditch a hangover, I did a video all about how to do that a while back. Check it out. As for what gives the worst hangovers, here's what we found. The technical term for a hangover is visalgia, which comes from a Nordic word meaning uneasiness following debauchery. Yeah, that sounds about right. So you drink alcohol, it gets all up in your guts, and it stops your brain from making something called vasopressin. No vasopressin and your kidneys don't absorb water, they just shoot it straight into your bladder and you urinate it out. So you're dehydrated, you're washing out a lot of needed potassium, sodium, and magnesium from your body. Your muscles, your nerves, and your cell function are all jacked up. Alcohol also breaks up the stuff in your liver into glucose, which floods you with sugar. It's all no good. And you probably know what that feels like, i.e the worst. So, what can you drink to minimize those effects? Nothing, because that is how alcohol works. But, certain alcohols add even more nightmare stuff in there that causes a worse hangover, and we can minimize those. So, when alcohol is fermented, you get these impurities called congeners, and congeners are great because they give an alcohol its taste and color, but they suck because they're toxins. Since they're responsible for the color of alcohol, you might have already guessed what I'm about to say. The darker the alcohol, the harsher the hangover. So things like gin and vodka should be easier on you than bourbon or whiskey. And that's exactly what a 2010 study comparing the hangovers and cognitive abilities of people who drank bourbon and people who drank vodka found. The alcohols with the most congeners, from highest to lowest, brandy, red wine, bourbon, dark rum, and whiskey. My beloved bourbon has eight times the congeners of gin and 30 times the congeners of vodka. You also might have heard that more expensive alcohol causes less severe hangovers. Well, that's not entirely true. See, filtering and distilling a liquor more removes more of the impurities. It also adds to the cost of making the alcohol. So, more expensive can mean more filtered, which leads to a slightly less nasty morning after drinking it. It also means that some cheaper vodkas and gins can be almost as bad as some expensive bourbons. Now, it's not all about impurities. Sugar content also adds to hangover symptoms. And cheap wines, fancy cocktails, any flavored liquor, like a raspberry vodka, which you should not be drinking anyway, is going to have extra sugar. And that sugar, added to the sugar overload that you are already experiencing, makes things even worse. Now what about liquor before beer, beer before liquor, etc., etc.? Well, any carbonated alcoholic beverage is actually absorbed into your body more quickly than a non-carbonated one because increased pressure from the gas in your stomach forces the alcohol into your system through your stomach lining. That means anything you drink after it while there's still that pressure in your stomach is gonna get absorbed faster too. So I'd say beer or liquor is safer than any mix of both. Basically, if you're looking to minimize your hangover, you should drink nothing but the most expensive of vodkas through a Brita pitcher, I guess. But look, you drink anything to excess, you're gonna get a hangover and you're gonna do damage to your body. I know, I'm a downer. I'm just mad because I'm a bourbon drinker and I don't want anybody to feel any smug superiority over me. So, do these findings actually fit with your own personal information? Let us know all of the most disgusting details of your worst hangover down below. Don't actually do that, but please chime in and let us know. And subscribe here for more D News.